Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What are you saying, my G? My guy. I'm good, bro. You good, though, yeah? I'm blessed, brother. Fam. Fam, I'm pissed with you a little bit, bro. This guy, why? What are you, why? What, what, waiting? You know what I'm saying? Like, waiting. The, the way the way you just hit me up and then for yesterday, bro. You know what I mean? Talking about, yo, are we going to record, bruv? I've been so fucking knackered, bruv. Bro. You get me? I've been knackered since last week, bro. Did bro, you did you realize the, the work that we had to put in last week, when bro? When the camera comes on, there's nothing like relaxing. Yeah. You get me? When the camera comes on, you go find that energy. Yeah, wherever, we are back. Wherever we, you go find that, you go find that. We one. are back on the job, bro. <laughs> it, bro. I'm telling We're you, We're back bro. on the job. No, Jobu. Job. Job. <laughs> job. No days off. No, no days, days off, off, bro. You, you get me? Say. Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> Salute to you, man, out there, man. You are now welcome. Welcome. Welcome back to the show that never ends. Another episode of Fresh of the Boat Show. You go, know I'm saying. It's your boy Toby. Your boy Kojo here. You go, know I'm saying. Kelly's not here today, man. Kelly's on a mission. You go, know I'm the saying. Mission. On yeah, the mission. yeah, yeah. This is the three headed monsters, bruv. You go, yeah, you know yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, 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 you get yeah. me. You know, and salute to you guys out there, man. You can be anywhere in the world, but you're right here with us. And for that, we're giving us some clap. You get me. Salute, salute, salute. Listen, if you've not subscribed to the channel yet, do that right now. Yeah, subscribe, watch the videos, leave a like, leave a comment, share it, tell a friend to tell a friend. Or tell an enemy to tell a friend. Because they got friends too, man. Oh. You go, know I'm saying. And also, we are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon, Google Podcasts, anywhere where you find us. We, we did, did there. there. We did you there. Know what I'm we did there. You know, and anything where you hear for here. Not true. Not true. We yeah, said you it. Get what I'm saying? We, we said, said it, brother. You get me? Even if we are trying shit. We still said it. Not still true, bro. You get me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, Fam, man. last week was good, bro. Uh, yeah, last week was a good week still. Listen, I absolutely love it. A lot has been happening. Bro, a, lot a lot has been happening, bro. You get know what I'm saying? From Bankuli to, mm. to um, Bad Boy mm. Teams to Adesh Shop Air, bro. Sh it's been a Shopsy. good one. Yeah, yeah. It's nah, nah, been a nah, good bear. one. We've been, we've been grazed. We've been grazed with a lot of... Um, Talented people. Absolutely, bro. You get me? Absolutely. Salute to them. Man. Yeah, yeah. A lot of creatives have been have been hitting it with us. And we appreciate them for coming through, man. Absolutely, bro. You Absolutely. Get me? Like it just one of them ones. It's so funny how this shit works, yeah. Because just in one week, it felt like everything just fell in on the same week. Boom, 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 boom. You go know I'm saying everything just fell on, on the same week and everything. And some people were obviously hit, um, hitting me up to say, yo, why is it that you lot don't have a lot of guests all the time? Boom, 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 boom. I said, bro, personally, I'm not going to lie. You know, this is our shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is our mm -hmm. shit. We build mm -hmm. this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, so the main faces on, on this is us. Yeah. Once in a while, you're going to see the guest, isn't it? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, Once yeah. in a while, you men are going to see the guest and all that. You know? But for the most part, it's us, bro. Yeah, it's always us. You know what I'm saying? If people shout, holler at us and they're like, yo, we want to come through, we ain't going to say no. Hell no. You get me? But we're trying to build this around us. That's it. You get me? But then it's all we understand the importance of having guests, and guests you know, yeah, come yeah, in yeah. and then bless, bless you lot, bless us with the knowledge they've got in the industry or whatever it is that we're trying to talk about. But this is... For the most part, it's us. It's our show. You know what I'm saying? Because, because me personally, I'm, I'm a bit scared. I don't know about you, man, you know? But I'm a bit scared having to depend on, mm. on guests. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You know mm. that kind of thing. Mm. You mm. know, mm. now, mm. now, if people want to come through, that's amazing. You know, but for the most part, man, we know that this is our shit. This and, is our shit. And people view this for us, you know? But, but then also, last week was amazing, bro. Lots of content. You know, some of these guys are legends in the game and everything. You know, and bro, some of them cost some firestorm on socials, bruv. Bro, that's what they came here to do, isn't it? You got me some fire shots on social, bro. I'm not going to lie. It was a crazy one, bro. My DMs were going nuts. You got me? Damn. Yeah, especially with, with Adesh up You know, obviously, you know, he's, he's one of them people. He does not like... He's, he said it clearly, bro. I don't like controversy. Mm. You got what I'm saying? You can tell. I, yeah, can I'm tell. not into the whole drama thing. I'm not into cloud chasey and all them back and forth on socials and everything. So he's a very diplomatic guy. Mm. You get what I'm saying? 
You know, some of the things, okay, I might agree. I agree with most of the things that he says. Some I'm, I, I disagree and everything, but at the end of the day, I have to let him g- get his shit off. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? But then at the same time, I love that about him. You know? Like he said, some people are into the whole controversy shit, and that's fine. Mm. You know? Like you can't have just one way. There has to be multiple ways in the industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he... He he doesn't come across too controversial. No, he he doesn't like the whole controversial. So he, he likes he likes peace. Yes, you got I me. Mean? If he has anything to say, obviously he has access, because one of the mm. things that he said was, "All right, cool. If he disagrees with what Bonner Fair said, yeah, 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 you yeah. got what I'm saying. Then he will pull Bonner aside, which I saw one of the comments. Somebody said, "Yo, boy, you can do it. The rest of us cannot. We there don't have we access go. to it, bro. You just took the words out of my mind." The fact that he's got access to these people and yeah. then he can actually... That that tells you that he's got a relationship with them. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yep, so yep. he cannot just go out there and, and, and then say what he wants to say on air. Mm, you get me? He, you, that, it's like me and you. If I get a problem with you, for example, I'm not going to go and sit somewhere and then start That's trying it. crap. I'm going to come to you and then talk Directly. to you first. Exactly. You get me? But for those of us that if, say, there's some next guy out there that I don't know, Maybe I know of him, but I don't know him. And I've got a problem with him. Then that's different. Then that's different. Yeah. You get me? So And and which and which to me, I kind of see where he, where he comes from. Mm-hmm. When he mm-hmm. is not on social media going crazy and everything, you know, because he has relationships with these people, one. And two, you can tell it's not in his nature to do the whole back and forth thing. And yeah. at the end of the day, he's a grown man too. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. He's a grown man and everything. And he knows these people. So he rather speak to them you know, and say, hey, I don't agree with what you said. You know, I feel about this, 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 that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I kind of get where he's coming from. But then, obviously, social media, you know what social media is, bruh. Bruh. All you need with social media is just just pour that, that fuel into the fire. Into and, the... bro, and it just goes. Bro, even Jesus Christ can come on social media right now and perform a miracle. People will still chat rubbish about it. People will still go crazy. You get me? So, that, social that media for do. you, man. <laughs> Whether you do good, you do bad, it will, yo, there will be someone against what you're saying. That's just what it is, There will be someone pouring fire on it. So, you can't win. Yeah, it's as simple nah, as that. You definitely cannot win. But I'm not going to lie. I watched that interview. I watched that interview, the one with Adesha, but I watched it like three times in a row, bro. bro. That was how good um, I... Fam, it was one of the interviews that I really enjoyed. I didn't want it to finish. Obviously, he had other commitments that night. Mm. But I didn't want that. It, bro, we were like... You know when that energy just matched? It just matches, yeah. That yeah, shit was yeah, crazy, yeah, yeah. bro. You get what I'm saying? Like, I really enjoyed it. But then also, he has invited us to... To come through to his... Yeah, his to end, come yeah. through to, to his end and everything, bro, um, to pod. Yeah, I need to, I, I need to be there, brother. You get what I'm saying? Like, I need to be there. It's funny, because both times he's been on the pod, I've not been around. Yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah. The first time I was in there. Were you not there? I was in there, The one bro. two years ago? Nah, it was a journey. Oh, uh, where were you that day? I can't, I don't, I can't remember, but I was in there. I was not there that day. Oh. That's crazy. I was in there. And then this time as well, I wasn't here. So every single time he's been on the pod, I've not been in that pod. Well, that means that you have to be around when we go That's to his end. That's what I'm end, saying. Bro. I need to make sure I'm there, brother. Yeah, bro. I, fam. I need to meet that Donny. Fam, you know what? When we go there, bro, we're going to blow that shit down, bro. Nah, but bro, I'm I'm, I'm still, I'm like halfway through your pod, innit, from that one. Yeah. Guy, it makes sense. I mean, there was a lot of facts being spoken, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get me? There was a lot of truth. You could tell. You could tell that there is sense behind what someone is saying. Absolutely. You bro. get what I'm trying. To, I can't Absolutely. say I totally agree with everything that was being said, but you could tell that his opinions were quite valid. Absolutely. You, Absolutely. You he's me? not, bro. He's not trying shit. Whether you agree with him or not. No. You get what I'm saying? Obviously, everyone has their own, have their own opinion, Mm-mm-mm. but he's not trying shit. You know what I'm saying? He's a man of wisdom. You know, he makes me laugh sometimes, though. I'm not going to lie. When the guy, they talk, he's like, think about it for a second. <laughs> think about it for a second. The man, the legend, Ebro Dyden, said that, you got me. I said, guy, you be pastor. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pastor or dictator. This, yeah. this is how they speak. That guy in energy, bro. In energy, that guy. He got to say the team feed up. I laugh. He said, think about it for a second. 
And he's got a voice. He's yeah, got a... Bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, he's a very cool dude, bro. Oh, you know what I'm shit. saying? And fam, I, I, I fuck with a guy heavy, bro. That nah, one nah, there, nah, yeah, nah, I fuck with him heavy. Same, same. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, bad boy teams. He bad did his thing as well. Shout out yep, to him, yep, though. Yep, yep. How was saying? that one, though? How was it? Yeah, yeah, it was great. It was great. Fam, they turned up like almost around 12 12 midnight 12 30 Jeez, midnight bro. it was a late recording it was a late recording bro you know what i'm saying man was knackered as hell mm. you know what i'm saying but it was just one of them ones it was good vibes though no wonder you was tired last week bro i was knackered as hell bro i'm not gonna lie Jeez. you got me it was just one of them ones and and obviously bankley had to turn up you know in, in the middle of the day yeah, yeah you yeah, know yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and we were all working yeah, I know. If you I remember, know, you you had to take the day off. I had to take the day off, bro. You I had to take to, the day off from work and all that I shit, had bro. To, I had to pull a sicky and then get someone to step in for me. And yeah, that. bro. But it was know. a good one. It was a nah, good nah, one. No, it was definitely a good one, bro. Absolutely, absolutely you loved know it. What I'm saying. And then obviously you had to go to the carnival too, bro, didn't it? Bro, Carney. I was going to say, is that why you didn't come Carney? Because you was too tired. I was knackered, week. bro. I was knackered. Carney. I, I was knackered. Carney. I don't know if I'm ever going to go Carney again, bro. Why is that? I didn't enjoy it. Is it? I don't know what it was. Maybe I was a bit late. I don't think that's what it was. But everyone keeps saying, oh, you should have followed the flow. You should have followed the flow. But I feel like if I'm a carny, I'm a carny. Yeah, Regardless yeah, yeah. if I'm behind the flow or not, it should be good vibes. But bro, there's too many kids out there. Fam, yeah. Is it that there's too many kids out there or that you're nah, getting older? Nah, nah, I'm not getting... Bro, you can see... <laughs> or that you're getting older because... Kids bro. have always been there, bro. Nah, true. No, no, no. Not as not in their numbers like this, man. Bro, I, I swear kids have always been bro, there. Bro, nah, 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 nah. I remember the one I went four years ago, for example. Bro, it was a it was a good mix. But bro, these times you're looking at like I swear you're 16 years old. Like I'm looking, it, it's it's mad. I don't think it's a new thing, bro. I bro. think it's always been like that, cuz. Nah, I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you're right. But you get you get old people, you get grannies and, and grand granddads there and yeah. that. But it was just it's like everywhere you turn, like Pekin, Pekins, Pekins, Pekin, like fam, kids. fam, you're getting old, bro. You, fam, you're getting old. <laughs> it's all right, bro. It's okay. Yeah, it's it's cool. okay. It's cool. It's fam, cool. fam, listen, bro. If you ask me, I think baby, that's one reason why, bro. I really got to some places these days, bro. Because, because, um, for example, the, the um club and everything, mm. fam. These days, I really go to the club because I, I'm just looking at myself as that guy. Like, I'm, you got me. Like, you're getting older now. Yeah, but carnival is 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 for the it's for everyone. It's for the older heart, the younger heart. You know, the 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 culture behind it is for everyone to celebrate. Like I, bro, I saw, I saw a handicapped guy. My mama was whining or something. Bro. Whining or something, <laughs> my guy. Bro, like I saw, I saw bare shit. Like you see, bro, people climbing on poles and shit, yeah. just twerking, and then it was mad. It was mad. Like you see a lot. You see a lot. You see, a, you see a, people getting dirty and shit. But for they, some reason, I just didn't. They do wine though. Yeah, one or yeah, one or twice. You get me, you bro. Get I had to show my dance moves. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out to you, my guy. Yeah, Shout out yeah, to yeah. you, my guy. No, but I was mad. Funny thing, I was, I saw on social media mm. that some guy paid a girl sixty pounds to do what? Just to get her number. What? <laughs> you don't see him. I don't see him. One girl, one girl tweeted like with a picture, a video, or whatever. Saying, guy yo, pay. man just gave me 60 pounds just to get my telephone number. Hold on. How pretty is the girl? Is she like pretty? She, she, she's all right. Bro, I hate when you do that shit, bro. <laughs> 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 man, I hate when you do that shit, bro. Because, she's because, right. she's because, right. because the reason why I hate when you do that shit is just this afternoon, I asked you the same <laughs> question about something yeah. it can be about somebody you do the same yeah she's a she's a wait till, wait till you ask me <laughs> i actually say oh my, the girl she find some some girl what would they talk about we got me bro, with some guy there's not there's not many pretty women out there bro you you're know? trying shit bro there's not many pretty women bro Fam, my, there are my, a lot of pretty girls my standards there, of pretty might be different to your standards of pretty no 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 no, no yeah no. yeah no there are no, there are pretty, pretty girls out there. The thing be say, the conversation that we're having like this afternoon, yeah? 
I don't want to say yeah. something. Like, hey. yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. The tip is say, yeah, this is my whole thing about some guys. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Some guys always go. And they, okay. All right. This is not specific to anybody. Yeah. I don't like it when, not that I don't like it, yeah, but it's funny to me when, if you see, especially a black dude, especially a black dude that has, he has the sauce. Mm. He's got everything going for him. He has a great job. He's a good looking guy and everything, yeah? And he can pull, he can pull the, a very beautiful black girl, but mm. he would rather go for a mid white girl. I don't know why, not, I, I don't understand that. What, what, what's there to understand? What do you mean was there to understand? But bro, it's not. They, they keep saying, they've been saying this for, 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 for years and fam, decades. Fam, and fam, that. fam, fam, bro, you, you, can, you, can, you can pull a beautiful they girl. Say, they say beauty lies in the no, eyes no, of the... No, bro, no, 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 that, no, no that, that thing is no, facts. No, 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 no. Bro, you know, maybe, yeah, maybe these donnies have dated pretty black women, you know. Some of these people, where, where would they talk about you? you know, we don't know that. Yes, yeah, some, we don't some know of the people, where would they talk about you? We but know. You my logic is, maybe they've dated some, like, some pretty women like back in the day maybe they have and it just didn't it just was not it for them because bro bear in mind half of these girls you're calling overly pretty bro a lot of them come with some some next ba baggage or something even the mid ones too yeah they do but then see that's the thing some women that everybody comes with some sort of baggage bro mm. Everybody comes bro see, the, no, no, attitude, see. the attitude of, of some of some pretty girls are like it, it I stinks. understand that. It Everybody has an attitude. To the extent that it's unchangeable. Yes, yes, yes. You have a point there. You have a point there. That's not what I'm debating. You have a point there. You get what I'm saying? Like, we, if we dive into that, we're going to... But me, I'm a strong believer of beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder, nah, bro. And, nah, and, nah, and bro. beauty is not just about the look. It, it, it's, uh, it's about personality too. Code your... Because you please. No, 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 Do you know the yeah. reason why I know they like when men talk this thing? Why? Or, or rather, when people talk this thing, yeah? When people say that, when people start, start bringing in personality and all that kind of shit, yeah? Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. So, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait so, hold on, hold on. Okay, go on. Personality plays a big role too. Mm -hmm. But so is the physical beauty. I'm not saying it doesn't. They're exactly my point. I'm not saying because, it doesn't. Because you want to look at your partner. Yeah, yeah, and be like, golly, bro. So like, wait, like, wait, wait, you, you wait. You what I'm saying? Wait, would you, you would you choose the looks more over the personality? It's not either or. No, 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 no. No, bro, no, 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 no. It's, it's not either or. We can, we can agree or disagree that it's difficult to find no, a very, it very is, beautiful it is possible. woman. It is possible. With a very, very great... It's possible, obviously, but it's difficult. No, no, obviously, nobody's talking about angels here. Nobody's talking about angels or whatever, right? But my whole thing, if, if, if even if we're... We are deviating from my initial point. Mm. But, but, but okay, let's stay before we go back and everything, yeah? Mm -hmm. To me, it's not either or. But part of the reason why I kind of laugh when people say that is people try to diminish the physical beauty because they want to come across deep. You know what I mean? That. And all the kind of, no, it's all about the personality. But then the same person, when they talk about, oh, no, 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 it's about the personality and everything, go still carry the girl or carry the person that, that is not, that is ugly, with great personality, mm. carry on day for house, and still go cheat with some next sexy girl. Bro, but that, yeah, but even people, people dating pretty girls. But still, that's still my point cheat. to you. So mm. it's not, so, yeah, so that defeats the point you're no, trying no, no, to make. No, 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 no. Because you could be even dating. I know a particular guy. I know a particular guy. I know a particular guy because we had a conversation and everything. Mm. The same, the same bullshit of, oh no, it's personality, bro. But anytime that his girl wants to sleep with him, he has a dick. <laughs> Why? He has a dick. Because he doesn't find her attractive, obviously. No, 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 yes. No, no, no. He said it with his own mouth. Okay. Because he doesn't but, find her attractive. But the point I'm trying to raise is the point I'm trying to raise is no matter how fine your woman be. Bro, it could get to a point. It depends on your love language with them. It could get to a point where you don't find them attractive. Yes, that is true. No, no wait, 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 wait. Did, did like, say, as in did, sexually, did, 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 it could get to a point where no, you don't no, find... No, no, bro, no, no, it's no, no. true. I don't know, but but, but not for me, though. Maybe not saying. for you. Yeah, but I'm yeah. just saying, like, bro, if you if if we look, there's bare examples out there. People dating pretty women, but they still go out and cheat. Yes, but my thing is, let's not, let's not put out... 
not you in not you personally, but mm. in general, yeah, when people try to diminish physical appearance for personality. No. It's not no. either or. It's not you must choose one. No, no, both no. Are, no, both are important. 100%. Yeah, but then at the same time, the physical... <laughs> physical beauty, yeah, is also important. It is very important. I'm not dismissing it to, at all. I want to find my Your partner woman, of, of course, attractive. Of course, of course. You can... So this is what... I look, I look out for both. Yeah. I'm looking at someone that I find attractive. Yeah. You know, I find them beautiful and attractive. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, they've got a personality to match mine. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But what I'm trying to say is there are certain men out there that would dismiss the personality and just, oh, as soon as they see fine, that is all they are. No. Their that, eyes are beaming for. No, no. That other one is wrong. But back to what the commission that led to this. Yeah. Wait till me at the top. Say, and, and this applies to both men and women mm. sometimes. Yeah. Some people just look at the skin color. Yeah, mm. just to, to summarize it. Some people just look at skin color. Oh, this person is white. I'm just going to take this person, right? Mm, mm, mm. Even though the person... <sighs> you go, I'm saying, just because, say, the person, a white person, you go, uh, you go for the that thing. Is, and that to is, me, that is, that quite is what I'm talking about. Because we've had someone on the pod, on, on a phone call before, yeah, if you remember. Yeah, yeah. And they gave their reasons. And, I don't know if you remember. And their reasons were bullshit. How do we know it was bullshit, bro? Was you, know, bullshit. you know if you call somebody in reason bullshit, it was bullshit. Now you, now you, now you the, the person, no, 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 bro, no. fam, fam, fam. You know if it is, no, 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 bro, no, no, it no. was you bullshit. Can't, you can't because, say that, no, bro. It was bullshit how because how, I remember, uh -huh. I remember that conversation. The person was talking about, oh, black women, they they wear wigs and weave on and everything. Yeah, white women is, do too. Yeah, but that is his preference. His preference is. Bro, okay, let's be honest here. That was bullshit wait, wait, because it's wait, the same let's thing. Be, let's be honest because here. Because it's though. the same thing. Sorry, because I, it's the I'm same not, thing I'm not, that black women complain about. All right, cool. Yeah. If you're into white chicks, you're into white chicks. But don't be I'm into not trying white to defend that person. Diminish. I'm not trying to defend that person. Okay. Let's start. Let's. I'll start off it with that. It sounded like you I'm not to. trying to defend them. Okay, go on. But if we're being honest, more black women wear wigs than white women. And, I think. And? Yeah, so if that is his reason, you can't say it's bullshit. Well, come on, bro. That's some bullshit. Nah, this is some bullshit. If he's saying white well, women wear wigs too, yeah, they do. But like I said, more black women and, wear wigs than and, white women. And, so if he's saying, and some of the if white women he wants that some more of natural hair, and, and he, some of the white women that he remember, goes for, and if wear you remember, wigs too. if you remember, he clearly said, "I'll date a black woman with short natural hair." But then there's not many of them. Oh, come on. That's some bullshit. And he said that. Kojo, sorry. That's some bullshit. You and, you and I know say that's some bullshit. <laughs> guy, you, you, no, no, you're, no, 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 you're defending that guy. I'm not defending you him. Know I mean, but you, that was some bullshit because... No, you, I'm defending him now because, because you're calling, you're calling no. his opinions bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. Because, because you know why? I would have respected his opinion mm. straight up if he came out just straight up and say, hey... I prefer white chicks. You know what I'm saying? But mm. don't give me cock and bullshit. But that's what he said. And then you no. asked him why. And then he gave you his reasons. No, he started giving up these reasons. And we started going back and forth and everything. Mm. You know what I'm saying? My own thing is, yeah, especially with that color at that time. You know what I'm saying? Like, if... Cool. If you prefer, whatever you prefer, that's that's all Exactly. You whatever you prefer, you know go saying? for them. Guy, but, if you want them, but, but the whole one. thing of... The whole thing of... Because he talked about, oh, black women go, go weave on their hair and they have attitude and other kind of... And, and then, and then, and then he said, oh, you know, they, they, they like too, too much money. <laughs> Fam, what is he talking about? And that's the reason why I said to you that was some bullshit that the guy was talking I can't, about. I can't remember, I remember the really context well. of it. Like the, the, the way he said it. I remember really so I'm well. Gonna... Go and watch that because, because, because... A couple of chicks called me. I think he gave examples, that. but he didn't say, oh, black women like money too much. He, he, he did. didn't say, he didn't say Go that. and watch that episode. He, he gave examples of like his dating experience. I think that's what he did. If you can't remember, he gave examples. Oh, I went out with this person and then did it. So did, white did, women did, know, oh, they like money. Did it. Everybody loves money. There now. you go then. Everybody loves money. So what's white trying to penalize black women for that then? No. Not you. Not in preference. What? Why, why, does, why does it look like you're attacking Bullshit. this guy? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it but, looks like saying that you get some personal vendetta. No, I don't get no. This sounds a bit too personal. No, but anyway, I, I just let's move. I, I just think it was some bullshit. Yeah, let's move on. Yeah, I, I, I'm now thinking, but I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> I, I there's a personal, bullshit, there's a personal <laughs> vendetta. <laughs> there. I, I totally forgot about it. I just shots, remembered now. Shots fired. Yeah, shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> you got me, bro. Talking about Come this, on. yeah. Since 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 we're on this, bro. Stomzy and Maya back, bro. Yo, that shit crazy. That bro. shit crazy. That I, shit is. I didn't. Uh, did you expect that? Yes, I didn't. You know, I, I kind of did. I kind of did. I kind of. Mm. But the reason why they was when she dated Ben Simmons because you know when the thing happened, you know, like like it always does. You go out there, you test the field, mm. and then you realize that there's nothing in the field. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying. How? And then you look back and be like, yo, I had it good over there. You got to say, I had it good back where I was. Back where I was. Not just her, him as well. Because because you do that because, listen, even though he, we we, we thought this guy was going to die, bruv. You got to say, because my man on every interview, all of a sudden, my guy started talking about God and Jesus, bruv. You got to be, started talking about, you know, I had to go go on therapy and you go. Know I'm saying, that, that, yo, Stumsy, Stumsy, you are the same guy that that, that um, did um, the song Shatter. Shatter. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, bro? Mama said, like, thanking God and praising oh, Jesus, bro. You go. Know I'm saying, no, but he's, you know? he's he's always been a he's always been a, a Jesus nigga. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got me. He's always done his thing and everything. And then and then. You know, she went to America. You know, flex her wing a little bit with a Ben Simmons bit, and all that. A little bit. You get me, but she couldn't see CL, bro. There's nothing out there, man. So I wasn't surprised to your question. I wasn't surprised they came out together. I was, I was, I was kind of surprised because you don't, you don't see these, you don't see many celebrity, you know, rekindling. Rick like it no. doesn't, it, it, it doesn't happen that often, bro. It happens, bro. I can tell you one right now. Oh, I beg. Nelly and Ashanti. I beg, I beg. That one... Uh, now waiting. After how many decades? That, that one... That one... But they uh, came back together, we've, no? We've gone and enjoyed our lives. We've... we've, <laughs> we've No, no, but this one was too soon. This one was like... You could tell that they've still been thinking about it. You think Nelly was thinking about Ashanti 10 years ago? I don't think so, bro. I feel like it was just... One, it's, it's like that guy, what's his name? J-Lo and then uh, Ben Affleck. There you go. Yeah, I feel like them ones that have been so long, it's like, you know what? I don't enjoy life finish now. Like, yeah, let me go back to... But this one, you can tell, bro. You can tell that this, that love, it never, it never diminished. It was still there. You yeah, get me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, But I'm happy. I'm happy they're back together, No, man. I'm happy that they're back together. I'm happy that they're back together. You know, one of my friends said this. My my friend said, now, the next step is, because sometimes when you come back to your ex, you realize, say, you know when you break up with somebody, especially if, if it wasn't a breakup that you wanted. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you start thinking about, you know, the good times you got, how mm, you guys mm, had, mm, 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 you know, some of the things that you guys did, the sex and all this kind of shit, right? Mm. But then, if the person comes back, can't realize, bro. You get me? All that stuff that I was stressing about. You get what I'm saying? You know? So that was what my boy said. You know, he said, now, that's where they have to be careful. Because for the most part, when people come back together, they realize why they broke up in the first place. Do you think they just go back together? I don't think so. Just like that. I don't think they Mm, just go back together. No, I don't think so. I think they have been creeping in the background for time. Exactly. They've only made it public because they realized that, you know what? We're strong enough. We're strong enough. I don't think they just go back together and then made it public. Bruh, it must have been a good couple of months, at least. I think it, I think it's one of them ones where, where where she always came over by 12 midnight, bruh. Bro, wait till the lights are out. <laughs> she goes sneaking. You go, yeah, man. I'm at your door. Like, can I climb up the window? Yeah, 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 like yeah, 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 yeah. You go, <laughs> man. <laughs> you go, man. That's one of them ones, bruh. All of them ones. You go, I'm saying? But listen, I'm happy for them, though. I'm yeah, happy for them, nah, bro. Nah, so nah. good to them. Maya Stormzy. Maya let's Stormzy, see. Let's bro. see what kind of music... 
he starts releasing again. He probably will go back to Shatter. <laughs> <laughs> he probably will go back to Shatter <laughs> again, bro. Oh, he feels shoot. like a big man now. He feels you know like saying? a big man now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, yeah, but, but shout out to them, though. Shout out to them. Bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, fam, have you heard Bonner's album? Because obviously he wasn't here last oh, week. Of course I have. Of course I have. Bro, I was one of the first people to listen to the album, by the way. I think so. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> bro, I was there. Rebooting the page, rebooting the my Apple Music. I just yeah, reboot yeah, yeah, them. Yeah. Then one one they all didn't come at once, you know. Then one go come. You refresh them again. The another one, one come. come yeah. You refresh them. The other I was I was just listening. I was like, okay, I see you. I see you better. Yeah. I see. Bro, it's an absolute you guys have probably spoken about it already. Yeah, we spoke about it last week. Nah, it's an absolute masterpiece. Mm. It's an absolute masterpiece. So it's an absolute masterpiece. The only small I always find something to criticize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only criticism I go get for him now say this is not an Afrobeat album. Hell no. This is not close to an Afrobeat album. But that's not criticism, though. It, it well, in my opinion, it is. I wasn't expecting a, a, an, an, an Afrobeat, Afrobeat album. album, but bro, I don't think there's even an Afrobeat tune on that album. <sighs> Maybe um, what's that one called again? Let me let me try to pull it up real quick. I think I know the one you're going to. I think, I think, I, you think know. I know the one you're going to. Giza. Yep, that's the one. Maybe that's the only one I'll say has got Afrobeats intonations in it. But, bro, the rest... <laughs> bro, I don't look up. I don't know about listen. A lot of you, man, are, are late to the party, bro. I do not look at Burner as an Afrobeat artist. Not anymore. I don't know if I ever looked at him like that. No, I think... I don't know bro. if I ever looked at him like because because he's always played around with sounds, bro. Yeah, yeah, he has, but he's always played around with the Afro beats. Like the okay, beats. the Afro beats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He's always had yes. that. But then this one, bro, now, nah, hip-hop... It's hip-hop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, that's it. Fam, like, even, even when you look at, um, I think it's Apple music or spotify or whatever it's not even listed on the afrobeats oh swear no it's listed on the i think pop there yeah. we go that, yeah. that explains it you know what i'm saying but but like he's always i think he's one guy he has never really wanted to be under that that banner that umbrella mm. like you know mm. what i'm saying he's a highlander you get me like he just wanted to try so many things he's Different. like a chef isn't it yeah, you yeah. know he just throw so many things in and just mix everything and then Boom, this greatness comes out. And you know what I'm saying? You know? So on the scale of one to ten, what, what do you read the album? Because because you already have your own little yeah, critical yeah, yeah. But our a, a strong eight. A strong eight. Yeah, yeah, wow, a strong, that's a good a that's strong a, eight. Yeah. Bro, the album's sweet now. Fam, that album is a masterpiece. Me, from the first from the first tune, I was like, this guy is trying to send a fucking message. That album <laughs> is a masterpiece, bro. I was like, yo, this guy is trying to self-certify himself as that guy. As that guy. You get me? You say what? Put me on your album, put me on your I can't even remember, and your album is a hit. I'm like, see this guy. Yeah. Who, who you think say you be Jay Z? Uh, yeah, bro, fam, he said, <laughs> put me on your track. Your album is, is something you, is a hit. Bro. I put you on my track. You're a rich nigga, yeah, something rich like that. Bro, I was fam, like, he's this talking guy. his shit. As soon as I heard that, I, I was like, I. They, they. But but bro, at the end of the day, yeah, at the end of the day, when when you're that good, and you know that you're that good. Fam, you're a dangerous person. Bro. No, 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 no. True. You know what I'm saying? And he knows he's that good. He, he knows. knows he yeah, knows yeah, how yeah. great he is. You know what I'm saying? And and to me, that's one reason why he could talk his shit. And yeah, and I look at the thing, I'm like thinking, yeah. But then that's that's the small other problem I have with him, bro. Oh, yeah. We, we never asked you what you thought about the interview, isn't it? The interview bro, you're going to. Yeah. I feel like sometimes he needs to calm down that ego a little bit. I, I know, I know it comes with the whole package. I know, mm. I know that's his identity. That's what makes him Ben a boy. You get me? But bro, sometimes, yeah, you need to pick and choose when to say it, where to say it, and who to address it to. Yes. You get what I'm trying to say? Yes. That is my only small problem with him. Like, bro, do your thing. Like, all these great people, all these great artists, movie stars, name it. They've all got this thing about them this mm -hmm. aura about them mm -hmm. that makes them that guy mm -hmm. 
But then, guy, if you're going to be saying shit like what you said about Afro beats and that and about some of your fellow artists, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like, nah, that was not the right way to go about it. So you think he shouldn't have said it at all? Nah, that thing he said about, um, how did, what did he even say exactly? Most, not, not the substance one. He then followed on to say something about most Afrobeat artists. Um, how, what did he, what did he even say? Like he's trying to say they've got nothing to. They uh, don't have experience or what? Yeah, word. something that like that. It's like they are just making music for the sake of making music. Mm. Like they've they've not had any experience. He said something like that. Like mm-hmm. they've they've all got no experience and that. Oh, I can't remember what he said, but he said something about. Most Afrobeat artists have not got any life experiences. experiences. You get what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, as, yeah. To say, as if to say they've never experienced life. Mm-hmm. Like they're just mm-hmm. doing music mm-hmm. for the sake of enjoyment. Yeah. You get me? But bro, everyone's got a story. You get me? Everyone's been through. Something has motivated most artists to do what they are doing. Mm. You get what? Fair enough. You might get someone that just wakes up and then He's talented, so he just starts singing. But bro, a lot of them have got stories behind the songs that they are putting out there, emotions behind the songs that they are putting out there. They've been through certain things to make them actually want to sing about this particular song or put this verse in their song or whatnot. You get me? So yeah. if you come say Afrobeats no guest substance and that, you know, no life experiences, is that's that's come on, that's very, very, very sensitive. Like, come on. I think, yeah. I agree with you. I agree with you. But then when I look at it from his lens, right? And and I'm not trying to make excuses for him. Just trying to explain something, mm. right? He's been to jail before. Okay. Right? He was on road in the UK. He got deported and everything. Mm-hmm. He was on probation and all that kind of shit, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so in his eyes, he's looking at it from... Most of you guys have not been through what I've been through. Mm. You go, know I'm saying, mm. like some of you guys now, 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 mommy's boys. You, some of you guys now, I just bought. Some mm-hmm, of you guys mm-hmm, probably mm-hmm. went to uni mm-hmm. because I was surprised, bro. Bad boy teams. He's a graduate. He went to uni. I think he studied engineering or something in uni. Sick. You go, know I'm saying, like false. I, I think false studied law or something. Sick. You go, know I'm sick. saying, like a lot of these Nigerian artists. Actually, they are educated, mm, which is good. You go, know I'm saying, which is good. They should not be shamed for it. Mm-mm. You go, know I'm saying, you know, so I can kind of see where he was coming from. You get me, like people like Two Face, all these people, they yeah, went, but, but, they all went to uni because, because in Africa, we, bro, we are we, into we, our studies. We, yeah, yeah, we like to get educated. You go, know yeah, I mean, yeah. we get educated and everything. Yeah, you yeah. get me now, just like you said, if you're talented. You know, you've all want, wanted to do the music thing and all that kind of shit. Then you jump into the thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? So I think that's where he's probably coming from. Yeah, but it doesn't mean you should attack others or take I a job at others. If you want to tell your story, tell your story. I agree with you. Bro, not everyone wants to tell their story. I'm sure there are artists out there that have been through similar situations or circumstances, but they choose not to tell their stories. Mm. You get what I'm trying to yeah, say? Just yeah, the, yeah. the fact say you're from a rich home does not mean you've also experienced some traumatic shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? And bro, we all know some of these artists came from like the ground. Some of, nobody, all of them will yeah, go yeah, uni. Some of, bro, yeah, some of yeah, them some, some of them came from the trenches. Yeah, because they saw it as a means to survive. Yep. They tried to make a career out of it because they couldn't find a career anywhere else. Yep. You get what I mean? But maybe they are not telling their story because they become famous and they just don't want... I don't know what it is, but if you want to tell your story, tell your story. You've told your story. We all know about the deportation issue and then all the struggles you went through and all of that. But I know they mean, say, you will come on in and say they don't get exp- life experience or they, they know they sing any substantial music or... Mm. Bro, that is... To me, that is... And this is the same genre that made you who you are. Yeah. You, you know, know, like... Yeah, you know, when people say that, I get it. When people say that, I get it. You know, and I'm just playing the devil's advocate here. 
Mm. You get me? I don't know. I don't have the inside information. I don't know. I wish one day we can sit down with him. Mm. You go, I mean, and deep dive into his experiences and his thoughts. Or we can deep dive into people that were around at the time. But I honestly think, yeah, he feels like when he was coming up, they did not give him a chance or they tried to stop his shine. Because for some weird reason, yeah, I'm trying to figure out where the relationship went wrong. I know some some Afrobeat heads that don't fuck with the guy at all. At all. They don't like him. Mm. You got what I'm saying? So, so, and we know how this industry is, this whole gatekeeping thing and everything. I was surprised because I was speaking to one of my homeboys in Nigeria. You get what I'm saying? Even when his album dropped and everything, most of these bloggers didn't even post his album. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Most of them didn't post his album. People were slandering him and everything. You get what I'm saying? Yes, I know we can say, yo, Afrobeats made you, right? You came up, you know, on the back of this umbrella Afrobeats. Mm. But then we also got asked the question, did Afrobeats really make this guy? You get what I'm saying? Because I've heard stories. Now, whether true or false, I do not know. I was not there. But I've heard that, yo, they try to, 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 you know, to solve like blackball this guy. Mm. You go, I mean, that he had to go to other places to actually, you know, come up from there. He was in South Africa, you know, at some point, you know, he was with Shatawale as well. You go, I mean, so for Ninja, they didn't really give him a chance. He had to like really work his way up. You get what I'm saying? I hear that. Like, I he wasn't that. the golden child. Whiskey was the golden child. Yeah. Whiskey, bro, I don't care what nobody says. Whiskey was the golden boy. But I know Phoebe, bro, what if all of now, this is also related to his ego? Yes, that can be true, though. It can be maybe his personality. Yeah. It can be his attitude or whatever the case is. You know, so it just, it can be so many things. But then also as an African, bro, I know, say, you know how African be, you know, people... People always feel like they are doing you a favor. You know, you have to come and bow your head on yeah, the ground yeah, for yeah, them yeah, yeah. and say, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You know, all this kind of shit. You get me? Now, maybe he's not that type of person. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. you know, because he spent some some time here. That's not how we roll over here. We, we don't do all that shit. Uh, you get what I'm saying? So, but then in Nigeria, people might see it as disrespect. Yeah, yeah. You 100%. Get me? You so I'm, with that kind, yeah. yeah, so that's part of the reason why I am not quick to jump on the bad wagon to say, yo, you know, Afrobeats made you and everything, blah, 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 because yes, it's easy to say that, but then when we now break it down, bro, did Afrobeats really make, you know, did Afrobeats really make you? Because to me, you know, Afrobeats making you is, you know, Everybody like supported you and everything, like bro. You get what I'm saying? You know, like I I don't know if I'm making. No, sense. you're making sense. But when we say Af- well, in, when I say Afrobeats <coughs> major, I'm not trying to say you got a whole support from 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 the whole Afrobeats movement or yeah. from back home and all of that. I'm just trying to say this is a genre that you built your career on. Yep, yep, yep. You get what I'm yep, trying to say? Yep, yeah, you can say that. So just do not res- disrespect your peers. Do not disrespect I agree with that one. the genre. I, I agree with that one too. That's what I'm trying to say. You get if you want to switch to a different genre, that is totally fine. But make you know the disrespect the genre. Back in the day, I could say you was also making music without substance. Then, do you get what I'm trying to say? But clearly not. Your music had sub- substance. You're, you're 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 singing about money. You're singing about motivation. You're singing about your different things. Your struggles yeah. and everything. That is substance. Yeah. That is. That is motivation to somebody. Somebody go hear your song, he go come out from one corner way in day and then find a purpose to his life. So you know if it talks, say, there's no substance in Afrobeat music. It's just mm. about a good time and the good time never lasts. Mm, 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 you get mm, me? Mm, that mm, good time is someone's forever. Yeah. You get me? That good, that, that, that good time is what's going to take someone <coughs> from a deep corner they are in and then pull them out there and then get them to refocus on life. You get what I'm trying to say? So, all that's in a BS to me. Mm. 
Fam. Yeah, yeah. Now BS. You like nah, I said, nah, 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 BS, bro. Now BS. It doesn't take away the genius in him. He's a genius. We all know that. But he knows that he needs to go and then learn how to talk. Can, can I ask you the same question you asked me, bro? Yeah, go on. Because when I said my shit, you said, yo, it, it seems like you have a personal vendetta about this. Do you have a personal vendetta about this? I do, do not, bro. I just commended him. Like, like I said, no, <laughs> I no, just no, no, commended no. this other guy, you bro. You didn't. He, Which he comment? Got, Which I comment commended him, bro. Wait, what did you say? I said he's doing well in life. He's no, he no, has no, a great no, no. Job. You didn't, you didn't say that directly to him. You were giving an example. You were just saying in general, some black men did 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 did. Was oh boy, <laughs> <laughs> you the man. You the man. You the man. This guy the man. <laughs> you must hear about this. You <laughs> hear about this. He go, he when this when this clip comes out, I'll send it to him. Yeah, no, no, the the but I yeah, boy. He guys, he guys, personal vendetta. Nah, shit. bro, nah, bro. I nah, understand. Bro, I understand. Yeah, I understand, dude. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's personal. It was, yeah. It's very personal. But, <laughs> fam, I, I can say the same you with brother, bro. No, 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 guy, guy. I just gave his album an eight out of ten. A strong. I just called him a genius because he's a fucking genius. Yeah. But he needs to go and then learn how to speak yeah. in public. Yeah, That's it. Yeah. Fam, but they are coming for his neck, bro. They are really coming for his oh, neck. Oh, they will. Fam. Social you media see, for it, you. There's this guy called, I don't know who. He, okay, so he's an actor. I think maybe an Hollywood actor or something. Patrick Dorr. This oh, was, he's, yeah? he's, he's a Donny, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's a Donny. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, he's yeah, been yeah. around and everything. So this is what he said. He said, the credit for the feats that appear to be puffing the likes of Burner Boy. No. The credit for the feats that appear to be puffing the likes of Bonaboy up have to be properly ascribed to the greats who cleared the thorny parts that have created pathways for his likes to walk through practically effortlessly. Mm. You know, say Niger people say, I feel like you guys did it right well, long English, bro. Uh, English, I don't even guy understand so that the You get me? So he said, Bonaboy has not by himself done anything that can be remotely described as great. I disagree, though. He and his peers are recipients of the labors of heroes past. They need to be humble and respectful of their diligent and truly pioneering predecessors. Great artists like Sonia De, Fela, Magic Fashek, I.K. Dairo, and a galaxy of others who paved the way from the 60s to the 2000s. Greatness and f- great feats don't exist in a vacuum. Let's not contribute to the creation of an arrogant and obnoxious monster. <laughs> So, so, Mark, I say, uh, I, don't, I don't know about no, all this. No, no, no. He said some facts, bro. Like, people have paved way. Yes. For for these artists, they've they've all taken a template from someone's notebook and then yeah, everybody they, has though. Everyone has. Everyone has. Yeah, yeah. Again, this goes down to my point of making you know the disrespect, the genre mm. that you took a leave from. To, to to begin your career to start with. Mm. You get what I'm trying to say? This is the genre you learned from. This is the genre you took notes from. Maybe you've changed it now, but this is still the genre you grew up learning to craft your career from. But he's always said that he's he's been into hip hop though. That that his inspirations have been. So like why didn't he why like, did like why did so why didn't he start doing hip hop songs when he started? Why didn't he Yeah? Mm. Why not do that then? Bro, if he started, maybe he did. It wasn't working for him. Maybe he did. A lot of these Afrobeat artists start off as rappers and all of that. But, you know, they work for them. And then they find a way to maneuver around it. And then, yeah. So, bro, if if you, yeah, go sing your hip-hop then. We go see where, where you go there right now. It's as simple as that. Mm. But you tapped into Afrobeat. It worked for you. And then you became a genius because you played around with it and then... Now you're calling you're calling yourself an Afro fusion artist and all of that. Perfect. But when you started off, you called yourself an Afrobeat artist. When you was doing Dangote and all of that, you were an Afrobeat artist. Mm-hmm. You get me? Mm-hmm. So, bro, 
That is. I the, don't think I, I can't remember him ever calling himself an Afro. No, not called himself and Darryl, but he categorized his music and the Afro. Beats. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. You, you, you know what I'm saying? So, do you think? Do you think he's? You know, he's one of them. Like he, he wants to create his own pathway. I think that's what he's trying to do. I think because why? Why get greedy? Maybe greedy is not the right word. But why not just stay under the Afro Beats umbrella and uh, then let's all eat together? Bro, I understand. The guy is a big guy. Right now, he's he's the biggest in the game. Mm. You get me? So this is his opportunity to 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 create a little bit of history. To, to stand out. Yeah. Because right now, if you hear Afro Fusion, it's bonus thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, which is smart. Very smart. Because in the history books... Everyone, like, he has stood out from the rest of the pack. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, he stood mm -hmm. out from the rest of the pack and everything, you know, which I think is smart. But, yeah, I do agree with you as well. Okay, cool. If you want to stand out from the rest of the pack, that's fine. But don't shit on um, Don't shit on, on everyone else. else. Don't shit. I think that's what he's trying to do. Well, creating a pact for himself. The same way when we talk about Afrobeats, a lot of people mention Fela. To say Fela is the godfather of Afrobeats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be like saying to you won't start something where maybe 20 years down the line they'll say Bernard Boy is the godfather of Afrofusion. That's smart though. It is very smart. Guy, it is that's, fucking that's genius, bro. That is a ge that is that <laughs> <laughs> that's genius, bro. Bro, before you go see, all these other artists go start the copy. Afrofusion, Afrofusion. They already so, started. Guys, somebody don't even start, bro. That's I was so. hearing some dude the other day, bro. Listen, <laughs> you guys are not Bonner Boy, please. <laughs> Fam, I heard this other guy the other day. He called this shit emo Afro, bro. Oh shit, who be that? <laughs> uh, bro, I'm not gonna mention names. You're not gonna get me. Do, do what, what's, <laughs> what, wait, what's emo? What, what's emo Afro? I, I think he's trying to say emotional Afro, bro. What the fuck is that? So right now, everyone is just trying to... Fam, what the <laughs> fuck is emo afro? I was listening to that shit thinking, what the fuck? You know what I mean? So now we have emo afro. So that means, you know, tomorrow now, we if we have, you know, <laughs> whiskey afro, we go have Davido afro. You know what I mean? We go have... Yeah, they should get the fuck out of You know what I mean? Yeah. We go have... <laughs> Savage Afro. Savage. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck are we doing here, nah, bro? Nah, 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 Some nah, stupid nah. shit, bro. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like at the end of the day, cool, I'm all for people expressing themselves however way they want to express themselves. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? But this whole shit about emo Afro... You know, some of that, you know, some people obviously have their own shit about like Afro rave. You know what I'm saying? Me, at the end of the day, yeah, if it's a natural cause, yeah, if it's a natural cause, if you find your pocket, right, where you can't realize, say, all right, cool, like, this is my pocket. This is where I express myself fully. My mm. greatness comes out when I do this kind of, you know what I'm saying? And then everyone is saying, oh, yo, this is this. And cool, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But don't come out and talk don't about fucking yeah. emo no, afro. No, 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 what no, the no, fuck no, are we told? Bro, what the know. fuck are we doing here now? I, I, I feel like we we need to hold that. We need to have that stronghold. On afro beats, on bro. Afro beats. And, and this is the thing. I get it. I understand. Sometimes I understand the mindset because, you know, some of them, yeah, they look and say, yo, don't put us in a box. I understand that mindset, you know, because you, you get maybe... You know the westerners and everything. You know, will say, "Oh no, that's Afro beats. That's that's some different type shit." Mm. You go, know I'm saying. Mm. So, so we're gonna just gonna keep it there. You know, all the artists from Africa they do Afro beats. You know, because there has always been that confusion. You know, where you have South Africans say, "Nah, this is not Afro beats. This is fucking I'm a piano." Mm. You have mm. people from here say, "Nah, this is not Afro beats. This is this." You go, know I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, so. I, I understand that. People don't want to be put in a box and everything. Cool. But my whole thing is, at the end of the day, just like hip-hop, right? You have that big umbrella of hip-hop, mm -hmm. you know? And then in hip-hop, you now have breakdancing, you now have, you know, rap. Mm -hmm. Then 
hip hop music, graffiti, and all that kind of shit. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. then under rap and hip hop music, you now have drill music. You know, you now have the different type of sounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand that. You go, know I mean. But I think that we are still very young. Exactly. Today's, we are still yeah. in the infant stage, bro. We yeah. have not even developed anything. No, 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 no. You no, get no. me? So it's just one of them ones where, you know, it's so pathetic to see, you know, it feels like, in, you know, some, sometimes if you watch this geography channel and everything and you see this fish, this big ass fish, and then you see the little fish and every, the little fish and everything come and just start biting on his mm. skin. Yep. You know, and it's slowly fucking dying and everything. You know what I'm saying? Is, is, is That's that, basically what the fuck is yeah, going yeah. on right it's now. It's like bro. a 15 year old going out there to have a child. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. You're, not, you're still a child yourself. You've not developed. You've not developed. And no, now you want to have a child and then look after your child. It's when you've not even developed yourself, you've not found a career for yourself, you've not completed your education and all of that. You get what I'm trying to say? Well, you Let's just get together, build this Afrobeats movement first. When we're up there. We can now diversify. Exactly. And then we can still then call all of these diverse musics under that Afrobeats umbrella. Umbrella. You get what I'm saying? Like, and people are here talking about fucking emo Afro. (laughs) What the fuck is an emo Afro, bro? If you don't, if you don't get when, it, when I, when I that, finish, I'm, I'm going to I'm going on Spotify. I'll go put emo Afro and see what comes <laughs> and up. And see what comes up with that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go listen to hey, some emo Afro. You get Fuck me? Fucking hell, bro. Like the way we're going right now, we are going to have two Baba Afro. I'm telling you. You get me? One day Afro. I'm telling you. Everybody you get go, Everybody go crazy. Hey, fresh off the boat Afro is coming. Yeah, exactly. They don't know. Fresh off the boat Afro, bro. <laughs> oh, bro. Talking about that, fam. Listen, fam. I think oh, we, we should start calling our gang. You go, I mean, the, the freshest breath. Why not? The freshest. Yeah. How's that name, sir? Freshies, freshies, whatever I want. You go, yeah. I mean, like, the, no, 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 bro. No, freshies, breath. <laughs> Man, it's it's just, good, it's good. Yeah, the same thing now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, the freshest breath. Freshest. So if I see me, I start to call it fresher. Yeah, no, no, no. The, the viewers and everything. Oh, yeah. the viewers. Yeah, that's what oh, I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we're starting a little cold thing, yeah? A little cold thing, bro. You go, I mean, so the, you freshers out there. You get me? Salute, 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 salute. You go, I mean? Shout out to all the freshers out there, bro. You are a fresher. You get me? You get me? Yeah, that sounds, that sounds yeah, cool, still. Shout out that to all the freshers cool. out there, bro. That sounds cool. You got me? Not Afro fresher, though. You nah, get just freshers. Just freshers. <laughs> just, you just get freshers. me? Not, 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 not a uh, fucking emo. No, man. No, 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 what do you call her again? Thames. Oh, she's coming. Yeah, yeah. She's coming. She's coming. She's coming. She's coming. What, she what, is what, coming. what do you think we can expect? Because definitely nothing Afrobeats. Mm, well, not even she she claim I'm she claim <laughs> I'm, she claim <laughs> I'm already saying. Definitely not Afrobeats. Definitely. And do you know why? I can understand why. Mm. A lot of people don't fuck with her. Why? I cannot get it. You know, because I was talking to someone who is a Nigerian. We were talking over the phone and everything. Mm. You go, know I'm saying, and and we were talking about some of the artists that are making noise and everything, right? No word for lie. I said to him, "Yo, bro, Thames is that chick?" It, fam, guess what this guy said to me. Ooh. He said to me, bro, nobody gives a shit about Thames around here. Shit. I swear to God. I'm talking about in Nigeria. In Nigeria, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, what? Are you sure? That's what he said to me, bro. He says, he said, yo, Thames does not ring like that the way you think it is. I said, bro, Thames is that chick over here. I still there listing her songs and everything, bro. Free mind, all this shit. He said, bro, I don't know what the fuck you're about, bro. I said, God, but I said, bro, go listen to these songs. You get what I'm saying? But you know it in that now, that realization, I can't understand that, you know, for some weird reason, yeah, Afrobeats, if you're not making, you know, a particular type of music, mm. a particular type of sound, yeah, 
You know, some of these people in the Afrobeat culture probably they wouldn't want to really mess with you like that. Mm. That's what I've noticed. So yeah, I f- I because like I was shocked. Yeah, like everybody that been listening to this podcast, I mean, know I love tense. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, 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 I'm shocked as well because I, I thought she was big. Well, I think she's big in Africa as well. That's, uh, I think so too. That's what I thought. But, but the guy not. was telling me, yo, fam, if you look at it, Thames, she's barely on the road. You know, she know they really they perform for for Nigeria like that, Seth. You know mm. what I'm saying? She doesn't really mess with Nigerian artists like that. She she always does like the whole Yankee Yankee thing. Yankee thing. You know what I'm saying? And you know that's part of the reason why nobody really sent her for here. Like you know, it it's is the likes of Tiwa. You know, um, Yemi, mm, Ira mm, Star. Mm, 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 mm. You get me? Like he was just them. I was like thinking for real. So yeah, these people obviously. Te- I don't know. Obviously, these people started from that grassroots of Afrobeat, but. I'm sure you've 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 read the interview she had with with Kendrick. Yep, 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 yep. I saw that interview, bro. And even in that interview, they spoke about a lot. They spoke about music. They spoke Absolutely. about you know like what draws them to the music that they put out, and then the writing and everything. Yep, producing all of it. But she mentioned she mentioned something about what we're talking about right now. I had to screenshot that. All right, cool. cool I had to cool, screenshot cool, that. Cool. I would say, Make me read them. this is what she said. She said, I used to listen to a lot of Nigerian music and I wasn't getting a lot of spiritual. I love Celine Dion. So I love that intense feeling of I'm about to jump off a cliff. Mm. That's how I want my music to feel all the time. And Afrobeats wasn't necessarily giving me that type of stimulation. Everyone I asked for advice was like, the only way you can do this is Afrobeats. It's not that your music is bad. It's just that it doesn't fit in Nigeria. Mm. Nigerians don't like this. And that's not a lie. It's not a bad thing. But I felt in my heart that that's okay. I'm okay with no one liking it. I just want to make this music. I want to make music that makes me pull my heart out. And if I can't do that, I don't want anything. Oh, she said her shit. You get me? So, once again, going back to that box again. Yeah. You get me? Like, it has to sound like this. Like this, yep. If it doesn't sound like this, we cannot relate to it. Nah. Because she said she met so many. When she started singing, she met so many different producers and then all of that. And then they were all trying to get her to change her style or they were all trying to give her Afro beats type thing. Type thing. But then it wasn't it wasn't working for her. You get me? She mm. she's bro, this is the this is this is the importance of following where your heart is at. That's it, bro. You get what I'm trying to say? That's it, bro. Could this be a reason? But then also, so I caught you, bro. No, no, but then on. also is the confidence, like, you know, the confidence of knowing yep. who you are, yep. being comfortable in your in own the, skin yep. and in your talent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To follow that dream and then stick to it. That's what I'm thinking. Could this be the reason as to why so many artists have just fallen off the radar? Because they've gone with... What they think people want to hear. Yeah. And then it's just not worked for them because that's not truly what mm. their music Fram, you probably is about. Right, bro. You're probably right. You get me? And at some point, you gas out. Mm-hmm. You lose the love for it. You get what I mean? Because, because you've built your image based on this, this false whatever. Yeah. You get me? And at some point, you're going to be like, yo, this is not who I am. This is not who but I then am. because you've built it this way, you can't change anymore. You get what I mean? So, so it's always better to be original, do your own shit. You get what I'm saying? And then well, that, that see one what too, happens. That's the, on the flip side to it's do your grind. own shit and it's not popping in the location you're in. Like in her situation, like Nigeria, for example, what are you going to do? Which is, a, but then she's popping over here. She, exactly. But then she must have put in so much hard work yeah. To 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 actually decide, you know what, let me stick to what I want to do, put in the hard work, even though my location is in Nigeria, put in the hard work and then in the hope that 
yo, I'm going to blow somewhere else. Some, someone somewhere is going to appreciate my music. Mm. Yeah, but fam, it's all about trusting the process, isn't it? Bro, easier said than done, though. That's it, bro. It's a, it's a long road. It is a long It's road. a long road, but that's where you trust the process and then trust your talent. Yeah. Which goes back to which goes back to that question, you know, when people talk about Burner Boy. Mm. When people talk about Burner Boy, I wish I wish I can dive into or rather, you know, just go into this time machine and everything and go back to when the whole to thing win. started to see what exactly because I'm sure is bigger than bigger what than we know. What we know, what's on the surface that we're hearing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So with this type of girl right now. Like Thames, if tomorrow she pops up and start talking her shit, people might turn around and be like, "Yo, you know, you can't, you know, you can't say that because Afro B made you." But she can turn around and be like, "Nah, Afro, no, no, Afro no, B is no. the she, make She me. can say that. She can, she can clearly say that. But then, but then we are saying that right now because we are in the now and we are seeing this firsthand. No, but bro, back if, then we if, don't know. No, no, but if you listen to her songs, even from her first, from all the, from. Uh, damages, free mind, all those songs. It didn't. We've we've said this on the pod before. Mm. His song, her songs, are not. They haven't got Afrobeats templates to them. Mm. They haven't got Afrobeats templates. But some of Bonner's songs back in the day was sounding dancehallish. Remember that he spent a lot of time with Shata Wale. With Shata, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah some yeah, of his yeah, songs yeah. then was sounding dancehall. But the ones bro. that made him pop, no, actually not. Guy, are you sure? Actually not. Actually not. Actually not. Some of them were like a whole different shit as well. Mm. You get me? Some of them were a whole different shit. You know, but not just one of them ones, bro. Fam, it's one of them ones where, you know, even us, we, we get it here. How many times have we had that conversation? You know, bro, you know, what do people want to hear? Should we keep it strictly Afro beats? Mm -hmm. Or should mm -hmm. we do this? Mm -hmm. or should we mm -hmm. do that? You get what I'm saying? Like, we've had that conversation. And, and you're, you're trying to find your, your pocket. Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes, you know, you might lose yourself yep. in yep. the whole process. It's it's so easy to lose yourself. You might lose yourself in the process. The may, well, most of the time, you're doing it for the people. You're trying to do it for the people. You get what I'm trying to... And in, in this age of social media, you're trying to do something that people will talk about. You're trying to do something that would influence people. You're trying to please the people. You're trying to please the people. So you then you're looking at the trend. You're looking at what is popping, what is selling, what people are buying into. You're not thinking about, I actually enjoy doing this or talking about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I can relate to all this and to me, which is part of the reason why, you know, personally, I like it when 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 some, some people leave, leave a comment in the comment section and say, oh, I don't like what you guys said. I'm going to unfollow you. I'm going to, um, um, what's it called? Unsubscribe, unsubscribe from your channel. Please do. You know what I'm saying? Because my thing is, I can understand as an artist or as a creator sometimes, yeah, you become a prisoner to the numbers. You know what I'm saying? You become a prisoner to the numbers. You become a prisoner to your followers, you know, because mm. your followers can threaten you and say, oh, you know, if you're not doing it like this, I'm not going to follow you anymore or, or I'm not going to listen to you anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fam, you see yourself, you, you're basically getting away from who you are you know, to do what they want you to do yeah, yeah. because you want to keep hold of those numbers. Those numbers that you see on your screen. Yeah, so Bro, you don't know these people from Adams, bro. You don't know them, but... Which yeah. goes back to the whole conversation with Doja Cat, if you remember. We had that conversation yeah, as well. Yeah, 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 you get yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it's just one of them ones. Which is part of reason why, I, yeah, cool. Uh, uh, you know, some of the things that Bonner said, would I have preferred that he didn't say the way he said it or where he said it. Yeah, we can debate that. You, you know, yes, man, you know, I hope, I wish he didn't disrespect maybe the legends or whatever, which I don't think he did because I don't think he, he said anything about he, the legends. He, I, I can't remember him saying anything about it. You know what I mean? About, yeah. You know, but people want to throw that in and everything. Okay, cool. You know, but then at the same time, I like, I like the fact that I appreciate people that are themselves. Mm. You know what I mean? That are themselves that go with their with what they want they have the confidence in their ability they have the confidence in their in in, in um, themselves they have the confidence in their craft you know what i mean and to me when you look at terms as well when you go through that interview i believe the interview was with um k 
Kendrick. Uh, um, the interview magazine. Oh, you mean the article? Yeah, the yeah, the article. Yeah. Just go check that out. It got me with, with Kendrick and everything. That was basically what she was saying. It got me, I want to be my authentic self and everything, bro. And I like the fact that her sound is different. I love it. I, I love people that do this. Bro, I've noticed that by myself. I love people that are different, people that do different shit. That was part of the reason why when Asha came out back in the day, if you know Asha. Asha, Asha. Which Asha? Um, Asha is a woman. Um, she's a Nigerian oh, artist. Oh, Nigerian artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, 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 Asa, Asha. A S A S A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. never, bro, I've never known how to pronounce her name. Some people say Asa, <laughs> some people say Asha. I yeah, don't know, yeah, yeah. but I call her Ash anyways. You know what I'm saying? Bro, her sound was different. Very different. Very different. You know what I'm saying? Her sound was so different, and I loved it. I just, I love people that are different from the rest, and I think that is what, just like you said, that's something like Bonner wants to do. He just wants he to, just wants to be yeah, on yeah, his yeah. own. Yeah. Don't, don't bunch me in with all these people. Thames, she's clearly doing the same thing. Yeah, Black Sheriff, different. Black Sheriff different. is different. You know, Asha K, you know, he's different. And once you're different, you know, your talent is going to show. Is, if you're different and good. And good. You, yeah. You, you would automatically, doesn't mean you don't need to put in hard work, but you would naturally just stand out. Absolutely. You get me? But Absolutely. It's mad. It's mad. It's mad. Absolutely. But I'm looking forward to Temp's album though. Bro, Shit. that album go be something else. But yo, Charlie, that game go sweet now. Nah, for you. <laughs> Afro fusion and that. You thought, <laughs> with, no. with emo Afro. With emo Afro and that. <laughs> Bro, no, I, I love I love where Afro beats is going. I, I, I love it. Like Do you think do you think there's a lot of pressure now to deliver? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> Hell fucking yeah. These guys are hell yeah. yeah. Burner Boy's album is shooting to number one. It's shooting in towards number one in the UK. In the UK. Bro. That is crazy. That is, that is mad. They are trying to cancel him over there. He doesn't give a shit, bro. Bro, 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 he, bro, bro. Fam, he did his whole signing thing and everything, fam. Well, bear with Bro. That guy has crossed over. Uh, crossed over. I loved where I seen that video of him asking for money. That shit was funny. Yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, was yeah, funny. Yeah. I love shit like that. Like, it's interactive. You get me? It's intimate. It's not about yeah. He just they sit there, they sing, they talk one two one two. It's 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 the guy, the guy, the guy. Yeah, the bro, it makes the sense. Perform, the guy, the, the guy, they perform. Bro. Too much. The too guy much. They perform, bro. The other was I saw this one that he posted on his Instagram page and everything. You get what I'm saying? They were performing um my my G's or something. What's the name of that song again? G's. I'm uh, sorry, Giza. Giza, Giza, Giza. He posted it on his Instagram page and shit. Fam. That shit was... I don't want to say, yeah. Goosebumps. Goosebumps, yes. bro. That guy, that guy is a genius, bro. You know what I'm saying? But back to terms, though. Do you think... So you think she has an, a, like, a lot of pressure now? There will be pressure on her. But if, this is the thing. There's this ease about her. She makes everything look so effortless. Mm. You get what I'm trying to say? Even, mm. even when she's there on stage, even when she's performing on stage like you can you can just tell that she's not doing too much but it's just clicking mm, 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 mm. Ah, bro if some people some people might disagree with you though the, I'm to, the I'm last to, I'm, the last yeah. video that <laughs> some people might disagree with you though you guys you see that video oh boy the one rose that girl eh? Man. No, but they're singing. They're singing. The singing is effortless. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh it's yeah. too effortless. Oh like yeah. you give times comes across as one or you give her this, you give her tomato, she go turn them into some some stew or some something. ketchup stew or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. I feel like it comes to, it comes to her naturally. I think she's naturally gifted, bro. I think yeah. I think the thing. The only thing is, you know, at some point, bro, you will have to go on the road. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I think that's one thing. And I love Thames, but that's something that she might have to work on and find her niche. Me, personally, if I'm to, av to advise her, she should just look at Adele. The way mm. Adele does, don't do too much. Don't do too much. much. You're already a beautiful girl. You're sexy as hell. Just put that spotlight on you and just day and just sing. If you want to shake your waist a little bit, mm. just shake your waist a little bit. You, you got so me. Some classy type, some sexy classy type thing. vibe thing. But don't try and do too much. I understand in Afrobeats, one dang, you know what I'm saying? Needed. That's not you. 
Don't go and do Angeli Kijo on stage. Don't bro. do Angeli Kijo, <laughs> Tiwa Savage, Yemi Alade, Arasta, Igami, even though Arasta, she been, she's doing the damn thing, yeah, she's bro. Doing that too. She's, doing that she's doing the damn thing, but that's not who you are. No, no, no. You know no, Sabi no. Dance. You know what I'm saying, bro? I, we, we've got eyes. That's not your strongest point. Tap into your strongest point. That's, that's, if, if, if she's listening, if she's watching or, or if there are people that know her, that's what, that's that my is, advice. That your, yeah, you yeah, go, yeah. I mean, just stand, you're, you're a beautiful woman. Just stand there, wear something nice and classy. You get me? And just, you know, if you want to shake your waist a little bit, you go, I mean, just vibe a little bit. You can do that. Yeah. Yeah, Serenade I mean. them with your voice. That's and it, Just bro. a few movements that's here it. and there. Don't go and try and do too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm looking forward to that album. If that was coming. And I think maybe Kendrick might be on the album too. You feel Who me? knows? You think so, yeah. I think so. Bro. I think so. Bro, I that, think that so. Could be, that could be a mad thing. Yeah, bro. bro. I think so, bro. She she has been she has been spammed by the likes of Beyonce, Beyonce. Jay-Z, Snoop, DJ Khaled, Drake, all Mary J. Them, Blige, all of them. All on the Kendrick now. Rihanna. Dr- Drake, Future, Rihanna. Guy! That is crazy. Bro, that album is the one to look to look up to, you know. I'm looking forward to that album, bro. To look out for I and I am not expecting nothing Afrobeats on it, bro. No, 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 no. At so all. far as it's an Afro queen putting it out there, that's what matters to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get me? Afri- so far as Africa is winning, if you like, go do, but just don't go and do it and then call it this, or don't go and do it and then and then disrespect this person, bro. Go do your thing. If it works, you're it works. from the motherland. That's what matters. That's all that matters, bro. You get me? You're putting the motherland on the map. That's what matters. Yeah, you're putting yeah. Africa on the map. That's what matters. That's you what matters. You know what I'm saying? Bro. When they go and say, who sang that song or who put out that album that hits number one here? This. Oh, the Nigerian artist, Thames. The Ni- you get what I mean? That's yeah. what matters to me, man. You get me? Yeah, man. Yeah, brother. I'm expecting that, man. Listen, shout out to her, though. Shout out, Thames. Shout out, Thames. Shout out, Thames. Shout out, Thames, bro. Yeah, right. fam. Fam, should we call you a day, bro? Unfortunately, we're going to have to. We'll call you a day, yeah. We've done, we've done, we've done a, um, a good it's one been, today, it's man. Been, it's been nice. It's you been, go, I mean, yeah. it's been nice and everything, I, bro. I hope the freshers enjoy it. Sh- salute to all the freshers <laughs> out there, bro. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> salute to all the freshers out there salute to you guys fam i've been getting dms all week yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying i've been getting all the you know all the supporters and everything all around the world bro i'm talking nah, about from people it. from spain bro, people from the states Damn, bro keep... i'm telling you bro you get me it's crazy that our analytics show that we have more viewers i'm talking about youtube now we have more viewers in america I swear to God. That is sick. Number one, America. You did lie. I swear to God. Number two, Europe. Okay. Number three, Ghana. Okay. Number four, the UK. What? Where, where does Nigeria fit in? Last. You did lie. Did it, Chris? So all you lot commenting, commenting, playing, the, all these Nigerian people, they see the comments. Last. Nigerians, last. Is it? Yeah. But I think... No, it's Nigerians, but then who knows where they are? Where they are? You know true, I mean? true, true, Maybe it's their location true, and everything. True, true, true. You know what I mean? It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. But listen, keep it coming, bro. Nah, that is sick. You know what I mean? Keep it coming and everything, that man. Shout sick. out to the freshers. We're doing this for you, lot. You yeah. get me? We're doing it for the freshers. So you guys, now nah, keep subscribing. On God in heaven, bro. Keep sharing. On keep God liking. Heaven. Keep commenting. You keep, get me? Keep, keep doing the damn thing, bro. Keep doing the damn thing. You get me? Fam, oh, just before we leave, yeah, yeah just yeah. before we leave and all that, I, I forgot to even mention it when we were talking about fucking, um, what's the name again? Fucking Ira Star. Mm. I say Ira Star. Asha. Asha. Fucking Maya Jama. Yeah, yeah. And Stormzy. You know this girl, Justin Sky? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Justin Sky. Yeah. I, allegedly, she and Rema are dating now, bro. Is it? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm a celebrity good though. Hey, Rima. <laughs> but so celebrity life good or fam. I saw the videos of that. I shit, swear bro. that girl is like a lot older than Rima. I don't know how old she is, bro. But but it don't know like she... it matters. It don't matter. Nah, anyway. bro, it like, doesn't matter. She is a beautiful girl. Oh yeah, God. she's 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 hot. You go. Know I'm saying. I saw that. I was like, okay, I see you, my guy. 
Do your, I remember, do your tin, man. Do your thing, bro. Your tin, Celebrity life, tin. nice, bruv. Do your tin. He's got an upcoming show at, at, at the O2 as yeah, well, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit's going to be hard, hopefully. It's going to be hard. Hopefully. Hopefully that shit's hard. Soon, that's soon, that's soon, that's soon, that's soon. Big up, Shrema. You get what I'm saying? Big ups to him, though. You get what I mean? And listen, for you, man, in Gabon and all them places, man. Oh, shit. Listen. God bless you guys out nah, there, God man. God bless you guys. We're wishing yeah, you all the very, very, we very can't, best. We can't comment on what's going on out there, man, because we don't really know. Yeah. But, bro, a lot's happening around the world. Plus, you know, this Rod Russian warlord guy, oh, apparently, shit. you know, they are saying whatever, what, what, whatever what they are they're saying. saying. Some people are saying that he's still alive, that he was a was stunt double and all that kind of shit. We don't know. Then obviously what's happening in Africa right now, bro, it seems like from country to country, from bro, country to country, bro. you know, Coop and everything. Now from what we're hearing, the president of Rwanda and the president of Cameroon, you know, has now sacked, sacked all their military generals and everything. Mad. Because they are fearing that obviously those are the people that have the power the that power can to overthrow, overthrow them and shit. Like what's going you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, because I think it was in France... Um, the president of Cameroon came to France to to celebrate his birthday. You get me? Um, the Cameroonians in in France went there and just scattered the whole place. Mm. Scattered the thing. He ran. You know you what I'm saying? He ran because apparently, you know, he's been he's been doing the country dirty, bro. That is mad. Been doing the country dirty. The president of Gabon, or rather, the former president now. His family has been in power for 49 years. Like, what the fuck? Bro, that is mad, man. Is the country your 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 father's oh, heritage? One family if you hold power for that long. For for something years, bro. And, on, and my guy has has fucking stroke, bro. And he's still trying to rule. He's got stroke and everything, bro. He, corner, fam, he can't even walk. Sometimes these leaders, man, I feel like they tch, come on. You've got brains. Use it. He can't even walk. Use it. Like, what the fuck? Use it. Some come of these presidents are like 90 years old. How much money now? you want to chop till you go die? You want to chop money to Come on, man. It's crazy. You're sorted man. for life. You've been a president. Your family your family is like the Bro, richest in your family. Step it's aside, great. let someone rule the country. At the end of the day, don't they even care about that country, though? That's the thing. That's the thing. Bro, them, you know, they don't even care about our country. They just want to be there and just hold on to power and everything. Oh. And people are suffering. Like, to me, it's different. Okay, if you're doing something, yeah... If the country's booming and everything, that's that's calm. That's calm. Yeah. Listen, rule as long as you want to yeah, look rule. Yeah. You get me? But this is your people so are suffering. Your people everything. are happy. Like there's jobs, you know. Like education is calm. Roads, like agriculture, like people are happy. The country the economy is booming. Fine, chop your money small, small. They your corner. But mm. if if you're gonna chop the money and then watch your people suffer, then they are no gonna they it. are gonna turn against you in the end. Fam, in Gabon right now, as they took the power away from him, people came on the streets celebrating, bro. Come on the streets celebrating and throwing parties and everything. He's he's um he's minister of state or whatever the case is. He he wanted to run. He wanted to run, bro. They caught him, and he has suitcases. Billions of whatever their currency is Imagine in suitcases, bro. In cash, cash, cash. This is the people that we're dealing with, fucking animals, you know. But yeah, man, salute yeah, to you guys. God bless you know? Africa. God bless Africa, you man. Go, I mean, salute to you guys wherever you guys are, bro. You go. I'm saying, listen, salute to all the freshers out there. You can be anywhere yeah, yeah, in the world, yeah, yeah. but you're right here with us. And for that, we give you guys a clap. You go. Yeah, I appreciate saying? you. Listen. If you've not subscribed to the channel, I don't know what you're waiting for, man. You go, I'm saying we got big shit coming. You go, I'm saying so. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. You go, I'm saying watch the videos, leave a like. Don't just watch. Leave a like and mm -hmm. leave a comment, bro. Mm -hmm. You go, I'm saying leave a like and leave a comment. Don't slide it into my DM, yeah, and and text me and expect me to reply you if you've not leave a comment mm -hmm. or rather if you've not left tell a them comment. if you've not left a comment you get what I'm saying the next time some of you lost slide into my DM to chat to me my first reply to you is will be have you left a comment in the comment section on YouTube if you haven't no that's it that's, that's the end it. of conversation no conversation that's it you get what I'm saying so listen do that watch the videos leave a comment leave a like share it Tell a friend to tell a friend. Or tell an enemy to tell a friend. Because they got friends too. You Every, get what I'm everybody saying? Everybody get paddy. Yes, sir. It's your boy, Toby. It's Kojo here. Shout out to Kelly. 
Mishgaga. You get me? And listen, if you're um if you're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon, Google, wherever you there, man, we're also there, man. You know what I mean? Check us out over there, bro. And until next time, bro, should we check it out, yeah? Peace and love.